Welcome to Brasstown Valley Resort and Spa. I'm Charles Burton, the general manager. Uh, we have a beautiful facility here, 503 acres. It's a state-owned facility, uh, 134 rooms at our resort, 18-hole championship golf course, a uh, beautiful uh, horseback riding facility, a uh, wonderful spa, Equani Spa. It's opened in 2008. Uh, great staff here, very uh, welcoming. Uh, we look at this as a home away from home from anybody. Uh, guests love it, say a lot of positive things about our staff, our, our food, our activities. Just a, just a great place to come. Two hours and 20 minutes from downtown Atlanta, a little over two hours from Asheville, North Carolina, uh, right at two hours from Chattanooga, Tennessee. So we're uh, very convenient, uh, easy to get to, great location to come and enjoy a, a family getaway and still be close enough to get back home on Monday. This is Michael Mixon with Jack's New South. My profession's usually in barbecue, but today here, we're gonna key on tailgating food, one of my favorites, and high ideal that's sitting on the retro tailgate, but enough about this. Let's key on my, one of my favorites. It's bacon wrapped chicken. It's a, it's a beauty. All right, very basic, guys. Chicken, Tyson, bacon. Before I even get started here, here are the essentials of tailgating. Bacon and butter. Love it, you gotta love it. Can't do a tailgate without it. Here's the deal, you open up your chicken, pull it out. This is for tailgating, guys, so be conservative as much as you can because you got a lot of people. When I host a tailgate up there in Athens, Georgia, got a you know average of 300 people. And uh, when you're trimming these, you know, trim just a little fat off, but cut most of it in portions. You wanna have enough for everyone. Everyone needs a piece of your fantastic product. There's this. And here, I'm going to rub it down with a proud sponsor of mine, Jack's Old South, Rub-A-Dub. No, this is the Honey Cluck. Hell yeah, the chicken rub. What am I thinking? Just douse a little. Get your butter out. Butter it down. Real thin slice. Real thin because you're going to wrap your bacon on top of it. Mash it on it. Get your blade. Cut into your bacon. Get in there. Get your one slice out. You know, pinch a little bit like that. You know, nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. Cover up your butter, because this is what keys on that butter's gonna stick it down. Wrap it around the backside. Nothing much. As I said, this is simplicity, guys. Tailgating's fun. I'm usually uh, keyed on competition barbecue. It's all about perfection and all that. Not out here. Tailgating's nasty, it's messy. And you're usually going to be tipsy or drunk when you're doing it. At least I am. Ain't no reason not to be. Here you go. That easy. Butter, a little rub, maybe look, do what you do. Come over to your grill. Lift it up. This is another fine, fine grill we have from our proud sponsor, Jack's Old South, the 48. Put it on there. What temper are you cooking at? 225 usually, but as I said, you're just winging it. There ain't nothing to it. This is tailgating. There's no numbers. There's no science. It's just tailgating. You put it in there, let God do the rest. He takes care of it. All right. While we're doing a... I mean, hell, you wait about... I'd say, you just monitor it. You got to monitor your food. Don't be a dumbass. Don't, don't walk off and start drinking a little too much and forget what you got on the grill. Just leave it on there maybe five, five minutes, go back up there, check on it, make sure it's done. When you go in there, cut it and see if it's all done. You don't want raw chicken. That'll get people sick. Can't have that. Damn sure can't have that. You probe uh... No, you do not probe chicken. Do not probe it. Just it's eyeballing. It's all about looking at it. You can tell when chicken when that white and the meat's white on the inside, it's done. That's it. And after that bacon's good and crispy, that butter's melted down on it, and you got yourself a perfect product. Get your ass on that. <sighs> Bacon wrapped chicken. Good looking stuff. Good crunchy bacon on it. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Well, well. Bacon wrapped chicken. Mm hmm. You heard me. <laughs> bacon wrapped chicken. All right. This is Michael Mixon with Jackson New South, and I'm back with y'all again. America, world status, planet Earth, listen in. We're doing, we're doing chicken wings today. Only ingredients you need for this is chicken wings, salt, pepper, butter, bacon. Let's get it started. I like to get to the point, guys. It's all about getting to the point. Don't beat around the bush. You get your wings. 
All this is in your budget as well. That's the beauty of it. I paid three dollars for this little pack of wings. Salt and pepper you got at the house. Butter you better have it in your house. And bacon you better have it in your house. Or you need to get an exorcist over there and get that demon out within. Because if you ain't got bacon and butter in your house, you ain't American. You ain't human. All right, here's your wings, three of them. Get a handful of salt, dash it on there, dash it on there, dash it on there. Look at me, little for, right here, little for the luck, over the shoulder. All right, dash it with pepper. Done deal, done deal, done deal. Yeah, put on that, slap a little pinch. This is small wings, mash. You get it? You mash. You gotta let it stick. Mash. Get your bacon. Small wings, don't need much bacon. Not much at all. Tuck it in there. Tuck that right there, wrap it around. God damn, you gotta love bacon. I'm about to say, I could eat this shit raw almost. Alright, see that? Bacon wrap, butter, salt, pepper, the basic ingredients of a good tailgate. Come over to the grill. It's amazing. Right here, what do you know? We're gonna flip that. Flip that, and we're gonna relocate reloc that there, that there, and that there. Beautiful. How simple is that, guys? Easy. Easy as pie. That's it for the wings. Bacon wrapped chicken wings. Bacon, butter, that's how you're gonna have a successful tailgate. That's the only way you're gonna have a successful tailgate. Here's your bacon wrapped wings. Good stuff, guys. And trust me. Trust me. Good stuff. This is Michael Mixon once again with Jack's New South. And again, I am a professional barbecue chef, but again, and this is it. I'm keen on tailgating. My favorite, favorite style of food. It's so simple, and you put a lot of smiles on a lot of faces. And it's being a good host, you gotta prepare great food. And here you go. Today we're gonna work on the bacon wrap double dog. This is something probably a lot of y'all maybe you had played with, maybe you hadn't, but hot dog, this whole pack right here cost me I think 98 cents. Get two dogs out. Get your butter. Back to the beauty of butter. You know, we'll wait on the butter. How about this? This is what you do first. Get this bacon. You hold them together. Two dogs. Two dogs. Two is always better than one, folks. Y'all remember that. <laughs> in any situation, any situation. Bacon wrapped on your dog. Get your butter. You want it melting off onto that dog and on that bacon. Back with your salt and pepper. Simple stuff, guys. Once again, beautiful tailgate product. How simple is that? How long did that? Was that a? Is that a? Was that a record? I think we just broke. Sixty seconds, maybe. Back on the grill. Done deal. You see this chicken right here we've been monitoring? You monitor it, flip it back. Don't be scared to get your hands in there. If you're, going, if you're playing with the grill, you're going to get burned. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. Don't be a pansy. Get in there. Get your hands on it. It means more when you get your hands on it. You got to show it some love, and the results will show you the love. All right, done deal. Hope you enjoy. Here's your bacon wrap double dog. All right, five beautiful products at a tailgate scene. You can cut your bacon, you can cut those in half and have them for more people. As I say, if you want to be conservative, if you've got the money to put, I mean, afford for all those people, that's fine, but I don't. So I cater for what I can cater for. This is Michael Mixon with Jack's New South, and then we're here once again talking about tailgating food. When I'm out there watching my bulldogs get it, you know, beaten ass, we're sitting there tailgating. You got a key on things that people love. Ranch burger is what we're doing today. Who doesn't love ranch? If you don't like ranch, once again, you're not human. Ranch is a key necessity of life, guys. God dang. If you don't like it, get your burger meat. Get it out. Get your handful. Slap it down. Get your ranch powder. Done deal. This is all for impressing your peers, acquaintances, whatever you label them. Whatever you like. Put your ranch powder in there. Mix it all in. Real easy. Get it fine, don't you leave chunks in there. Don't, again, you're trying to impress folks. You ain't trying to run them out of there with a club of ranch stuck in their molars. A little more, because you can't ever go too bashful with ranch. Mix it in there, nice and easy. 
Very easy, matter of fact. All these recipes I show you, you can do them hands on, on site right now. Slap some butter in there. You know, here, blend that butter in there. Be, be creative. Bring it over to the grill. It's a I think that's another record we broke. Look how quick that was. Put it on the grill. Right there. Done deal. Done deal. Play with some bacon wrapped chicken. Little bit of wings. Some double dog. Cause I like to sing. Alright. Let's go. Shut it down. We're done. <laughs> and that is a ranch burger. Hope you enjoy. Right here we have the ranch burger. That was our ranch burger. It's gonna taste better than it looks, trust me. This is Michael Mixon once again with Jack's New South. We're here again talking about the beauties of tailgating. All right, here today, guys, I'm gonna be talking about the Root Beer Burger. Not my favorite kind of beer to be drinking, but still damn good. Mm. Ah, can't get enough. All right, get your burger. Get your patty meat. Get it in there, ball it up nice, put it in a bowl. Get your root beer. A lot of y'all probably don't even know about this one. Let it, let it sizzle. Let it sizzle and then drink the rest if you want it. Get it real in there. Maybe a few seconds, guys. Let it marinate. It's already soaked in there. It's like a sponge. Done. Get your butter. You'd be amazed at what that little session of root beer in there just did to that burger. Put your butter on there. How easy is that? And it's gonna taste amazing, guys. I'm not, I'm not the one to disappoint, trust me. Put it on your grill. Flip your old burger. Get in here, all the other things are on your grill. Keep playing with them, keep your bacon on them. See that bacon, don't let it fall off or God will smite you. Everything's looking good in here. As I said, monitor your grill. If you want a great, successful tailgate, you don't want people why, or not, you want them coming back for your next one, don't you? Monitor your grill, is what I'm saying. The Root Beer Burger. Once again, hope you enjoy. Well, no, chicken, you gotta be careful with it. Cause it can, you just don't wanna burn it. I don't like burning my chicken. I like mine to be dead on. Just like anything else I do in life. It needs to be somewhat to my standard. And I don't burn shit up. Bet your ass on that. I've had my ass tuned up many times by my father about burning shit up during practice sessions we go through. It don't work out for young Michael. <laughs> All right, guys, here today, this is Michael Mixon with Jack's New South. Welcome. We're gonna talk about pork loin bites. Me and my squad, my team, competition barbecue, team of Jack's New South is the pork loin champions of the state of Georgia. Loin's our thing. It's what we do, who we are. We're damn good at it too. And here I'm going to show you what complements pork loin or pork in general. Apple juice. Get it at any store. If you don't know where to find this, well, <laughs> damn, I feel sorry for you. Apple juice. Back to it. Hey, check this out. Mmm. Nothing like fiber. Fill that up. Apple juice. Get your loin bite. Get your loin out. Loin. Easy. Slap it down. Do bite size pieces. Do a few slices. Nothing crazy. Nothing too crazy. A few bite, just a few pieces like that, maybe right there. You know, whatever. That's that's fine. Wor works for me. I mean, knife, whatever, you can rip it. It don't matter. Just get it to where it's bite size. Like that. Get it like it as so. Get your apple juice. Drop it in there a few seconds, nothing crazy. Just let it sit there for a minute. While you're on that, you're gonna break out your bacon. Go ahead and get it ready. Prep it. I bet y'all going I bet y'all thinking at home or wherever the hell you watch a laptop, whatever you're doing, this boy's gonna have a heart attack at the age of twenty five. You're probably right. I got a good four years left in me. This bacon and butter all in my bloodstream, but I don't care. You live once, right? Live it till the fullest. Get your butter. Go and get it ready while it's marinating there. And you're gonna get your toothpicks out. These are bites. So you're gonna have your toothpicks ready so when you take this out, don't put the toothpicks on there because you're gonna burn them. You're gonna char them. Don't have, you want it looking good. P poke them after it's all said and done. 
But these are bites, so yes, you're going to need your toothpicks. You know, get your butter down in little slices. It's fine right there. A few of them. Done. Done deal. All right. Simple, simple, simple. Get messy with it. This is tailgating, guys. Slice a little apple juice around. Marinate your dang pie. There you go. Get it nasty. That's how I like it. Nasty. All right. Back to it. Salt and pepper. Get a little salt there. A little pepper. Come on, pepper. Work with me. Pepper. Get your bacon. This is going to be, you got to just key on this. Focus with your fingers. You got to wrap each little piece with bacon. That ain't nothing to it. Wrap each little piece with bacon. But if you do want to put your toothpicks in the grill with them, what I suggest is you moisten the toothpicks with some apple. It don't matter. Moisten them so they don't get charred in the grill. Yeah, we'll do this. Watch this. Put your toothpicks in there. Get them wet. Let them marinate too while you're wrapping your bacon on your loin pieces. You don't want to burn the wood on the, I mean, hell, you might catch some bitches on fire. Then you'll have some really pretty loin bites then. <laughs> I guess we'll do another strip of bacon. I'm not going to do all these. I just want y'all to get the idea of what I am doing. All right. Watch this. Get your butter. Stick it right there. Done. Another one. Butter. Done. Butter. Pick. Meat. Done. All right. Get your little, get them in your hand. You're going to be probably a lot closer to your grill than I am. Get your fabulous loin bites. Like as so. Bacon, loin, and butter toothpick. Simple. Simplicity. There we go. Back to the grill. We ro oh, look at this. We're rocking at 400 degrees. Wow. And the product still looks fabulous. Get your burger root beer burger, ranch burger, put your bites on here. Top rack, it's 400 degrees guys, that's what I'm rocking, so I'm putting it up top. Let the butter melt down on that bacon, on your bites. And you have a fabulous product. Damn good product. Shut it down and let your grill do the rest. That is a loin bite. Loin. All right, and then right here, we got them loin bites I was talking about with the bacon on top, toothpick in. Damn good. Once again, that's four, that's four, that's four beautiful products at a tailgate scene. This is Michael Mixon with Jack's New South. Here, I'm here again to talk to you about beautiful tailgating food. Tailgating is a, it's a fun thing to do and when you put smiles on faces, they leave there with a full stomach and they want to come back for more, it's, it's very satisfying. And uh, I'm about to show y'all one of, uh, probably the favorite thing I like to do. And this is, uh, this is the Johnsonville cheddar, the better with cheddar, the cheddar to make you feel better, links. We're doing bacon wrap, sausage links. Get in there, open up your links. There's cheddar cheese all in it, I love that. Oh, look at that, see? That was meant to be. Mmm. That yeah, was good. How do you know when the hot dog's done? Huh? I mean, you can eat them raw, I mean, whenever, but no, you just... It's cooked in the It's package. cooked. No, it's cooked. <laughs> this is, um... As I said, that you can eat them raw. Do, do what you do, but this is, this is the deal. Get your links. Get your sausage links. Get your bacon. Wrap each individual link and your bacon. That's so. Simple stuff. This is really going. Guys, you out there try to press the ladies with something. This right here, they will have something going on in them taste buds that they have never, ever, ever had done. Ever. That. Bacon. Get your butter. Always butter, guys. Remember that. Beer. Bacon and butter are the three B's of tailgating. Put it just like that. Maybe here, let's get some more on there. That ain't enough. 
It's never new. You can never have too much damn butter on this. Never too much butter. Put butter right there. That easy. You got cheddar cheese. You got a dog full of cheddar cheese. You got bacon wrapped on it. You got butter. You got salt. And you got pepper. How much easier can it get? And how much tastier can it get? It doesn't. Trust me, it doesn't. Bring it to your grill. Bring it to your grill. Maneuver your stuff. Get my root beer burger out of here. Root beer. And set your top rack. Set your top rack. Done deal. All right, the chicken's about to be done, but we're ready to go. Close it down. All right. That's the, there's your, there's your bacon wrap. What, cheddar dog? Hope you enjoy. This is Michael Mixon with Jack's New South. We're here again, wants to talk the beauty of tailgating food. And I'm gonna show you another fan favorite. When you're out there tailgating, you need to impress the ladies, press whoever, it don't matter. Whoever you invited there, you're there to impress them. We're gonna do the chicken bacon wrap. Easier said than done. You're gonna be having your little ass tiki wraps. This is, this is 89 cents for a pack of these. This is all, all fitting into everyone's budget. The economy's down right now, so is the pocket, you know, it's empty, understandable. You get your chicken, cutting the chops, very easy. All this is simple stuff. I'm not gonna show you anything. This ain't rocket science. It ain't no rocket science at all. People tell, they say, the reason you can cook so good because it's in your bloodline, BS. If you focus and you put a little effort into it and don't get too sauce before you play with your grill out there tailgating, you'll be just fine. Cut it up, get your bacon. Whole strip of bacon. Chop it up. Done deal. Chop, 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 chop. Get it all there. Might as well chop up all of it. Chop that up. Get your bell pepper. Get a bell pepper. Get it down. Get out your core. Coarse. All right. Don't have to be perfect and just make it messy. Make it messy. The messier the better. Get your bell pepper, put it in your foil. Make a dish out of it. See what I'm doing? Kind of make it a bowl somewhat, you know, whatever. Break up a few more. If you like big pieces of bell pepper? I really don't, so I'm going to break that up more. Get your butter. Get a scoop of butter, handful, slap it in there. Bring it to the grill. Put it on the bottom rack where you got more heat. Just as so. Get this whole slop of bacon and chicken, top rack, as so, all in one. You're going to have it, it's kind of like a patty, and you're going to flip it back over, and I'll show you. Just, just trust me. And that is how you do a chicken bacon tailgate wrap. And hope this you is enjoy. Michael Mixon with Jackson and South, and we're here to conclude the beautiful, the elegant chicken bacon tailgate wrap. Follow me. We're going to come to the grill. We're going to conclude this with the chicken and bacon right there. The bell peppers on the foil. Glove up. Have thick thermal gloves, guys. If you're going to touch food, be smart. Use a little bit of sense. I know you're going to be sauced around the grill. Once again, I know. Tailgate. There's not a time I don't have a nice buzz, but be smart. Be aware. Get your chicken and your bacon in the other. Your bell peppers. We're going to take it over to the station. Prep stay there's our loaded baked potato. She looks good. We'll throw her like a football at the tailgate later. All right, bring it over. Take off your gloves. Save that for the birds. All right. Let me glove up. Looks good, don't it? A little bell pepper, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of bacon. Those are the three essentials of life right there. All right, on top of that, while it's sitting there, we're going to dash it with a little pepper. A little bit of salt over the shoulder for luck. All right. Get out your at. These are 89 cent right here for this whole pack of wraps. Get them out. One at a time. Get your, you'll make a lot of this. This is just, I'm showing you a small portion. Mix it all up. Get it nice. Get all the flavors there. Put it on your wrap. Wrap it up. Get your toothpick. Toothpick. I like to pack them thick, and that's just how I like to do it. Well, right now. 
Fold, get wrap. your toothpick, shove it through. There's your wrap. Beautiful thing, tastes even better, trust me. And there is the conclusion of your chicken bacon tailgate wrap. Guys, America, planet Earth, I hope you enjoy. This is Michael Mixon with Jack's New South, and I'm here to talk to you about tailgating food. If you're a man, a woman, an extraterrestrial being, if you're just visiting Athens or visiting planet Earth, listen in, here we go. Loaded baked potato on the grill. This is how we're going to do it. Get your baked potato. We'll get your potato first. I ain't baked yet. Cut this whole core out. I want you to get in there. Cut the line first. Get in there. Cut that sucker out. That's how we roll. Get your hands in there. Got to get rough with it. This potatoes ain't going to break easy. That's why you cut a line first. Get your trace out. Done deal, done deal, done deal, done deal. All right, get your butter. This is what's going to soften your potato up on the inside. Get your butter out. And we ain't cutting nothing. We're going to get a glob of it. We're going to get on in there. Cut out a little more of a core. I want that in there. Nice and deep like, just like anything I'd be doing. I want, I want depth. <laughs> Get messy. You see how you see what's going on here? Chaos. It ain't chaos. It's just tailgating is fun, and I'm usually intoxicated in some degree, so it's real fun. Then get it in there. there. We go. Get that butter in there. Pack it in there like it's a mold. Get it in there, nice and messy. Oh yeah. Hey, why don't you glaze the outside with? It? Oh yeah. All right. There's that. Get your pepper jack cheese. Get your slice or two out. Here, get two slices. Don't be bashful. Get two slices out. I love pepper jack. Can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. Pepper jack cheese. Lay it right there. You know, get it all nasty just like, like the butter is. Get it all nice and mold like. Get it on in there. Get it on in there. As so. Nice and messy. Because that's exactly what it is. And it's going to taste so damn good. All right, get your bacon. Bring it out. Got a few. Nah, you know what? We're going to do bacon bites. You want to keep it small. You don't want it. You already got enough in there, but this bacon right here is going to take it over the edge. All right, get a few of these little bites. All right, get it in there. Start stuffing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stay in there. Trust me, you got that cheddar. You got that pepper jack, and you got that butter. That bacon ain't going nowhere. Glob it on top. Glob it. You know what? Watch this. I want to do something new for y'all. Why don't we wrap this whole son bitch in bacon? How about that? That's how we roll at Jackson New South. Clear out. Get your full. Slap it. See that? Hell, if you had a tailgate, you boys get, I mean, if you don't feel like eating anything, throw, let's play some, let's throw a little bit. Come on to the grill. Play a little pickup game. Put your potato, you want it to be hot. See, look at our vegetables down there bubbling that butter. Woo! Nice. Put it beside it. Get this glob for our damn wrap right here. Flip it. As I said, don't be scared to get your hands burning. It ain't going to hurt long. Trust me. All right. Everything looks good. Everything looks great, actually. Matter of fact, we're going to take off the damn, that's that cheddar dog with the bacon on it. We're going to take them off because I think they look just right. It has a nice color, nice char, but uh, it's beautiful. But right here on our dang loaded baked potato. That's how you do it, guys. Nasty bacon, butter, pepper jack cheese. You can't go wrong. The necessity is a life. life. Remember that. Hope you enjoy.